All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do, this is the boost leak locations on the 2001 VW Jetta AWW engine, the small turbo, the KO3. Okay, make sure this is tightened. The boost leak locations are here, here, can be here, and right here, especially right here. That's why I got two ring clamps right there. This thing has been known to not seal properly. Remember, this is just an eBay intercooler, so I cheaped out. Also, right here, I don't recommend doing this. Unfortunately, I had to. So this goes to the DV to here. Right here is a boost leak. Right here is a boost leak. Especially right here. Stupid black box, but just for fast response for the diverter valve. You can tell you got a forged DV. Even the stock DV can actually cause a boost leak too. And they, over time, it can just the rubber inside will ruin. It's up to you what you prefer. You can get the APRs R1. It's up to you. Also, this is the N75. You can get a boost leak right here. Not so much right here, but right here. And this pipe right here to oh, okay. Oh yeah. Also a boost leak right here, especially since this one connects up to the N75. You can get a major boost leak right here. Make sure this is nice and tight. And also right here, exactly why I got four ring clamps and a T-bolt clamp. It's up to you how you want to do this. That's what I did. Boost leak, boost leak. I cover everything. This right here is not a boost leak. It's the pressure crankcase. That's not a boost leak. It's just... I may give you a system lean code. This is system lean system will, will affect performance though. So. Pressure crankcase. This little guy may cause a system lean code or another code. Not a boost leak. So yeah, I'm gonna go underneath the engine. Right here, this pipe right here connects to the diverter valve. It is very important. If you're getting boosties, if you're getting the fluttering sound. No. If you get that sound, then that means you got a boost leak right here. It connects up to right here. This thing's such a pain it has to get to. Get my phone in there. It's this pipe right here. This pipe right here as well can be a boost leak. Connects up to here. Looks like it's on. I'm going to change that pretty soon. Uh, right here, I can't remember what the part's called, but right here you'll get a boost leak. Ignore that. <laughs> right here's a boost leak. Up until... I can't get my phone in there. Up until a certain point, this thing is all, this whole thing right here is a boost leak. You can tell I bridged it with some copper, not copper, sorry, brass piping. Use brass, don't use anything else. I know brass is expensive, but it's worth it. Boost leak, and this thing connects up to here. To the brake booster. Okay. I'm going to go underneath the engine. Just the intercooler. This has to be the biggest problem with with our with our cars. Is this part right here? It's a pain in the ass to put into, but it will give you a boost leak. As you can see, four ring clamps, and I put a heat shield. This is just the stock one from the top pipe. This heat shield protects everything else. Goes through the intercooler. Put two clamps through the intercooler. 
There can be a boost leak right here if you're not if you don't tighten it well enough. Let's keep going. As you can see, I didn't have time to get it welded or anything, but this is what happens when you buy an eBay intercooler. You get it a cheaped out. I use JB Weld and some OMI gasket sealer. That can be a boost leak. So far, I'm not having any problems with it. I may in the future. Until then. Right, now we're going to the top of the car. There's four ring clamps here too. I just bought Autobahn because it was a little cheaper than Forge. No big deal. You can also put the DV reloc relocation kit right here, which also will be another boost leak if it's not hooked up properly. Okay, that goes up to the engine. And I believe that's it. If you think I forgot anything, let me know. Oh, I know what I forgot. Hold on. I'm gonna go underneath the car. This can be a kind of a boost leak, but I, its job is to suck in there, not lose air. But you never know. I don't like I said I cheaped out, so it's using a rock to hold, push it in. It's fine. And right here, especially, replace this whole hose. This one hooks up to the N75. Make sure you replace this. This is the major cause of a boost leak, which I already replaced it. Oh yeah, don't use silicone hoses either from Forge. Do not buy silicone hoses. Those things will ex they explode it off literally and cause the tear. I guess yeah. Also the what's it called? Wastegate. The wastegate. The turbo's wastegate right here. Of course, that's the turbo itself. The wastegate can also be have a leak in it. That's what the N75 hooks up to, and the wastegate. And I believe that's it for the boost leaks. I hope I didn't miss one, but if I did, let me know. I know I forgot the the stock piping for some of us that don't have intercoolers. Go ahead and follow this. This is a pancake pipe. I guess that can be a boost leak, but I rarely ever see that pipe being a boost leak. Here's your freaking pancake pipe. There we go. Pancake. I don't recommend putting on the one that has more flow on it because the tire will hit it. I've had some grinding issues with it. This part right here can be a boost leak. This part right here, this is where your intercooler, the stock intercooler would go. It's just this part right here would be the biggest uh, leak. So we'll just keep an eye out. If we have stock piping, it would just go up here and then just right here too. I've had a couple times where this thing blew off. So it would be a boost leak. Not so much right here, but you never know. Replacing the old crack piping really helps. You can use Autobahn or whatever. Forge, Samco. And that's it.